I think the the cool thing about the NFL, um, especially getting rid of the combine, um, I think the cool part is it's putting less emphasis on the numbers and more emphasis on what the athlete or what the football player did on the field. So what was crazy is we had to go do all this training, which is fine, all this testing, but we had, you know, uh, four or five years or four years of, you know, anywhere from 10 to 12, 13 games. So you had 40 plus game videos uh, for them to watch to know exactly who you are. Is, is that more important or the fact that you got 30 reps on the bench or were able to vert 30 inches? At the end of the day, I'm going to vote or I'm going to draft players off of what they can do in the field. And I think that's why Bill Belichick and those guys that are really good in the drafting, you know, why he's able to pick up these, you know, late round people that go on and be rock stars like Edelman um, or Tom Brady or, you know, any of the guys that he's drafted is because he's looking at what they do on the field. Are they winners? Are they going to compete? Not just, hey, I look good in a, you know, fashion show uh, where, you know, I'm, I'm studying for the test. Well, we yeah. saw Matt Jones picture. The quarterback they took uh, yeah. here rec- in the first round. Oh, yeah. It, not good. Oh, I mean, we, we'd love to party with that guy. Yeah. And, and you know what's crazy is he's thinking this might be my next Tom Brady. Maybe. Yeah. So the, the NBA, they give the athlete the freedom. The marker's 15 feet away from the Vertec, and they let you express. Just go be One an foot, athlete. two foot. However you want to do just it. Just get up. That's awesome. Well, mm-hmm. I mean, uh, like I said, those guys get paid to make magic on the floor and to get rebounds and to do what they do. Um, the one element that I think seemed to be so important in the NBA years ago, you know, with Larry Bird and Jordan and, and all those guys is they were all so tough. Like, uh, like Bird played through like back injuries and like back spathoms. Yeah, he, and they, I yeah, mean, like a 50 or 70 yeah. pound back brace. Yeah. He, I mean, he, uh, uh, Jordan, I mean, those guys were iron men. They never missed they played, they played through injury. Those guys were, you know, just extremely tough. Now you, you, now you get into a situation where we're watching the Lakers and, you know, you got LeBron, you got KD and these guys that are just kind of prima donnas. Mm-hmm. And uh, like that doesn't deter or I, I guess tint their talent by any means because they're extremely talented, good players. But I think that there should be a category, you know, in this whole deal for, you know, guys that are, you know, or, or warriors and go out there and bust their ass and play and, you know, iron men in that deal. Um, you know, I mean, uh, uh, you know, John Stockton, um, you know, Carl Malone and those guys played. I mean, Carl Malone, I don't know if you ever read any history about him as a individual and as a human being was pretty poor. Uh, not a very good dude by any means, but went out and played the game and busted his ass. And uh, those guys were all very extremely tough guys to play with. I just wonder if that element still exists. No, uh, I got thoughts on that and that, I mean, the, uh, the designated rest, like, I don't know if it's too much tech, but the scheduled resting of the players, then it prevents the team from gelling and then shit, man, this quitting early on your guys, not happy. And then quitting on your team. I'm just not a fan of that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you also got to think LeBron's not necessarily worried about his legacy. You know, I mean, in, in his mind, uh, you know, but his legacy's already set. You know what's something ironic, John? What's that? Space Jam 2's title, A New Legacy. Mm. I think he's worried about that film, not his personal. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I mean, um, I, I did hear, a, uh, hear an interesting argument that Tom Brady's had three Hall of Fame careers. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I mean that he's legitimately put together three back-to-back Hall of Fame careers, and they went through like the first seven years, and then they, you know went through it. And there's a guy that hasn't missed games, that's played at the highest level, super competitive. They'll probably still go out there and do it. And I think that uh, when they start talking about the greatest to ever do it, and I I hate when people everybody throws the term "goat" around so much, but the greatest of all time, I think you got to put Tom LL Brady. Cool, in. Yeah. Oh, which fucking like well, I said, he is the goat for creating the goat. Dude, he used. My favorite line in any song, hot sex on a platter. <laughs> that was uh, in, in one of his songs doing it. I just love that line. He goes, hot sex on a platter. And I'm like, God damn it. What a creative, creative genius LL Cool J is. Um, but when you start talking about the greatest to ever play, uh, I think you got to have Jordan in there. You got to have Larry Bird. You got to have Magic. You got to have Tom Brady. I mean, in terms of running backs, you got, uh, you know, Barry Sanders and, and Bo Jackson and really just the the best to ever do the game and played it as it should be played. So I think when it comes to NFL quarterbacks, uh, I think people just throw other names out there because 
they don't like Tom Brady. But I think when they talk about the best to ever do the game, that guy, hands down, is the best. Yeah, and in mindset and preparation and yeah. professionalism. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of his diet stuff. And I had some guy the other day ask me about his TB12. I don't know enough about it, so I, I'm not necessarily going to comment on it. But if uh, Tom's putting it out and it's worked for him, it's worked for him. How well what, it works for the, other people, I don't know. Well, yeah, we don't know that. But his commitment to it oh. and so on and so forth, that's what I... And he married a supermodel. Like, how can you be mad at that guy? You got to look and be like, yes, good for you. And a cool dude. Uh, I had more than opportunities to hang with Tom and have always had a great interaction with him and always thought he was an extremely uh, funny, classy, and just good guy to be around. Freight train and I'm right on track, I'm smoking.